Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steers, and today, chums, for you guys in the viewerverse, I'm back in No Man's Sky, hitting up the expedition on my PC save. Now, somebody said to me, Captain Steve, what would you rather have? A Mustang-type muscle car or a Prius? But the Mustang muscle car, you, know, you may need to do some work before you can get in and drive it, you know? Sometimes they don't start. They're not as reliable. But I'd still want the Mustang. Now, my PC is a freaking Mustang when it comes to comparison to maybe a console. I mean, it's, it's freaking awesome, my laptop. So, yeah, anyways, let's jump on over into game and I'll continue with this analogy. Because, oh, I need to hit the game. There we go. Boom. There we are. We're in game. That should appear on your screen any second now, people. There we are. Done. And um, I'm at a colossal archive. Now, colossal archives put a massive colossal drain on your actual platform. Now I'm going to show you my graphics settings. So if I go into the old options and I go into displaying graphics, you can see here I've actually got it set to ultra settings. You can see that my GPU there. So you can see it's a pretty good GPU. Now my webcam is only 30 frames per second, whereas the game is at 60 frames per second. So that's why you might be seeing a little bit of a delay with some of my um, things happening on my camera i could get a 60 frame per second camera um but yeah it's it, it's another cost isn't it really but anyway going down here you can see i've set it all to ultra i've got dlss on because i'm, I'm running a nvidia um, graphics card so perfect for that and i think i've got it about right now people and i think it's actually tolerable i mean i'm at a colossal archive part of the expedition but it's a pretty good base test now, I'm not really skipping any frames, apart from I don't know how to get a frame counter up here to see just how many frame drops I'm getting. But I can see that there's a couple, but I've only just loaded into game. Now, I have noticed that this happens with a lot of content creators. When they first load into No Man's Sky, it's like it's still sort of rendering in the well. It's like when you go and visit a giant base, and they do lose a couple of frames. I don't know whether they just leave themselves standing still for 10 minutes before they jump on in. Maybe that's something I need to do. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to be pressing on with this actual expedition. But before I do that, what I need to do is grab myself some copper. Is there any copper in nearby vicinity? Let's have a little butchers around. What are you? Are you copper? No, you're freaking ammonia. There's some copper over there. 300 U's, but what about you? Are you any closer? That's salt. All right, fine. We're going over there. 300 U's. Let's see how it goes, just sort of traversing the landscape. I mean, I can play with the graphic settings. I can turn them down a bit if, if needs be. But to be honest, I shouldn't be having any issues. Now, back to that analogy. So of having like, you know, a Mustang versus a freaking Prius. The Prius is going to start every day. Basically, the Prius is a console and the Mustang is my PC. So what, what, which would I rather have, you know? Yeah, i much rather have the Mustang running properly if I can. And this is where I'm at with um, the whole Starfield sort of scenario, uh, saga. So I put up a poll the other day just saying, what would you do if you was in my shoes? Would you sell your PlayStation VR? Would you sell some collectibles to actually purchase a Kate and Xbox Series X? Or would you persevere with the actual um, PC? Now the PC should work okay. I am hitting minimum spec. I mean, I'm well above spec on No Man's Sky, but you can see here it does have, you know, the odd frame skip, the odd frame drop. But the content that I want to do when it comes to Starfield is going to be very different to the content that you're probably going to be seeing other content creators doing. I'm not really going to be doing a playthrough. I might do my character setup and what I'm going to be rolling with when I first start. But then I'm, I'm not really going to touch too much on the story because I, I'd imagine it's going to be done to death. So what I'm hoping to do is just get out there and start surveying planets. So I want to just make videos on me 100% surveying a planet. So it's going to be very chilled. It's going to be very much in keeping with what I do inside of No Man's Sky with a little bit of role play thrown in as me being Captain Steve inside of a universe, you know? So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Right, well, I've already got a little bit of copper. Let's carry on. So I don't think the content that I'm going to be delivering is going to be high-paced, frame sort of reliant content. I'm hoping to do some nice photos and uh, get some nice bits of footage and to just show tips and tricks on surveying certain planets that might be a little bit difficult. Maybe they're going to have gnarly terrain or issues with them. I don't know. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to deliver in something a little bit different anyhow. Oh, there's another copper one over there. Let's go there. Let's go grab that. Coolio. So yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to need to get the Xbox Series X. However, what I am going to do though now, rather than sell my PlayStation VR right now, I'm just going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it and I'm going to see how I am financially, you know, by that time. And I might get myself, oh dear, I'm going to have to get myself some hazard protection. I might get myself a, an Xbox Series X, but it'd be a last minute sort of purchase. And I'm thinking what I could do is just jump onto Facebook Marketplace, find somebody that's selling it near to me, go and see it working, making sure it's okay. I might even get a little bundle of games doing it that way, you know. And then I might just go and pick up Starfield. It doesn't matter if I'm not playing it first day on my Xbox. First day, I could start playing it on my PC and see how I get on. Give it a good week to see if I can get the settings working well for me and to see whether it actually works on my um, PC. I don't want to spend money if I don't need to spend money, is basically what I'm saying, people. But that said, I have already invested in the HDMI splitter, I was just looking around for it then, that allows me to plug in additional devices. Because if I do get an Xbox Series X, the way that I'd be streaming it to YouTube is through my laptop in a similar sort of way as I do my PlayStation 5. So hopefully I'm not going to get any sort of frame drops. I mean, as you can see at the moment, the actual game is running quite nicely. I mean, yes, it's got the odd thing if I move a little bit too quick, but it's um, it's not too bad considering I've got this on the highest freaking graphical settings. And I could tweak this a little bit more for No Man's Sky, but I've already seen on the experimental branch for PC, there's a whole load of new optimization patches coming in. So, you know, what I'm seeing now might not be how this game looks in a couple of weeks because Hello Games is always tweaking optimization, always up in what they can do with, I think that's the one I've already dug out, up in what they can do with um, you know, the graphics cards and whatever else is going on. So, yeah, this is more of like, although that I'm pressing on with the expedition, I've already got, what, I think six days left now or something. I'm probably not going to get the whole expedition done with the amount of playtime that I'm getting just lately, people. We've got quite a lot going on in real life. Oh, look, this planet's quite majestic. There we go. Look at me. So, oh, dear, I fell in a freaking hole. I was trying to do something cinematic and awesome then, but um, uh, I, that, that failed. <laughs> I've got my cup of tea to hand, people. Fuck yes. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Fuck yours. The fuel for speculation is tea. Fuck yours. Anyhow, let's head on over this way. Oh, talking of which, shall we do some speculation? I think we could, couldn't we? You know, I did say that as I'm doing this playthrough, I'm going to do a little bit of speculation. Well, something that I would like to sort of point out to you is during the actual playthrough of No Man's Sky, you come across some very shady characters. So some of those shady characters are Null and Apollo. And the reason why I think that they're quite shady, and even Artemis to a degree, is if you go to an appearance modifier, you can't really pick up their full customization set. I mean, their heads are available. I mean, I've got Apollo's head on right now. And you can get Null's head, which is that orb of light, you know. But you can't emulate their bodies. Now, if you look at Null or Apollo inside of the hollow terminus and look at, say, their limbs, so like their arms, they haven't got multi-tools. They've actually got weaponry grafted onto their actual freaking arms, mate. Now, I'm wondering if and when there is some sort of update that brings the Void Mother or the Realm of Glass into fruition. I'm wondering whether we're going to come across almost like what we've got with the autophage sort of bodies that we've got in the latest, well, this expedition that I'm running now as a reward. I'm wondering whether there might be more body types that have more of these weaponized sort of arms and things on some of the NPC characters. And I'm wondering whether we're going to actually end up doing combat with some sort of new race or actually have interactions with them as we do like Gek, Viking and all that sort of stuff. But maybe they're going to have body shapes that just don't appear inside of them, the appearance modifier. Not in this universe at least anyway. I am wondering whether, you know, heading into the void or the realm of glass might open up opportunities to bring back some modifications, be those cosmetic or otherwise, for our actual person. Now, pro it, could be, it could be a thing, it could be a thing. People are probably wondering, why aren't you shrinking your terrain manipulator? Here you go. Um, I'll try and shrink it there. There you go. I've made it a bit smaller. But to be honest, I, I, I don't need too much of this copper. I'm probably going overkill. Sod it. Yeah, I'll make it big again. 
and blast out the ground. I do know what I'm doing, and I know that I've made a little bit of extra hard work for myself, but I figured I'm doing some sort of, um, you know, latency test on this actual um, video right now. I can see I've had a little, I keep glancing over at my camera. I can see that there's been a couple of frame drops on the camera, and I think that might be because I'm running a 30 fr frames per second camera on a 60 frame per second game. So I might not get this problem with Starfield if it's locked at 30 frames per second. So until I actually play the freaking Starfield, I don't know what to expect is what I'm getting at, people. So yeah, this episode's a bit weird, isn't it? It's a bit all over the place. It's a technical test. It's me talking about Starfield and my hopes and dreams for my actual channel. And it's also me talking about speculation of things to come with No Man's Sky. Quite a positive cup of tea with Captain Steve, wouldn't you agree? Anyway, let's uh, let's call in my old ship. Chickaboom, can I... Why not? Why can you not land there? I want you to land there. Why can you not land there? Okay, it went green for a freaking second. There we go. Might as well call it in, people. Now, I have got an abundance of units at the moment because I sold a shed load of freaking... What are they? Um, ancient bones that I picked up on the, on the ringed planet in the very first system, people. Right, so we've got our copper. Okay, we're in our ship. Let's go over to the expedition, and here we are. Clues amongst the stars. So, oh, we're doing that right now. I oh, didn't I hit? Oh, what an idiot! I went to the colossal archive. You know what I didn't do? Interact with the colossal archives. So now I've got to fly back to the colossal archive. Do that one step that I should have blinking done while I was there, like a complete idiot. Yeah, it's because you know I've got other things. You know, although that. <laughs> This expedition is is running out of time super quick um yeah i'm in no real rush to get it done to be honest i would like to get all the glyphs from this playthrough however i could start a new game inside a pc and get that sorted if i really wanted to um all you need to do is hit up a creative save and then as soon as you're in on creative mode change it to whichever mode you want to be in and that gives you all the glyphs and not only that, it gives you all the base parts and everything. In fact, that would probably be a better way of actually playing through No Man's Sky, rather than doing this expedition. Yeah, that would be a better way. The only thing is I won't have all the autophage parts, but then does that really matter? It doesn't really matter to me, to be honest, on PC, because PC isn't my main platform for playing this. And who knows, Hello Games one day might put in cross-save, and if they put in cross-save, all this is in vain anyway. So you know what, I might not bother pressing on with the actual expedition, and I might not bother continuing on with um, doing this PC playthrough. At the moment, I, I just don't overly see the real need to. In fact, the next episode I might do is me starting up in creative mode and then converting it to normal mode and showing you exactly what I mean in getting the best start possible to get your save up to a decent level as quickly as possible if you're a brand new new player to No Man's Sky. If you've already done the tutorial and a lot of this other stuff seems like busy work, like getting all the portal glyphs because that takes freaking ages, or getting all the base parts if that's taking you ages, yeah, maybe watch the next video for you in this little mini-series of my PC playthrough. And uh, yeah, we'll be hitting that one up, you know. Um, so yeah, there's no point in me doing too much, actually, come to think of it, is there? Um, there's no point in me even really saving my progress if I'm going to be doing that. So there we go, people. I'm going to exit out to uh, desktop anyway on my old um, on the old game here. Here we go, quick to desktop. And yes, uh, please. Um, yeah, the quick time to desktop. So over here, I might as well make myself a little bit larger on the old screen. Oh, I've got my PC game image there. Might as well take that off because uh, yeah, I'm not playing on on that at the moment. And uh, drink some of my tea. Yeah, that's that's pretty much where I am. It's a little bit of a crazy rambling, isn't it? But then that's I'm hoping that's why you're on my channel because that's what you get over here with Captain Steve. Lovely merch as well. Heck yes. And um, I am hoping to bring my own brew of tea to the channel in the very near future, peeps. It's a work in progress. Done the taste testing. And hopefully you'll be able to have the same brew as me if you enjoy a cup of tea with Captain Steve. The mug's, mug, mug's available. You can get the mug. But at the moment, I've got my own brew of tea being brewed. Okay, that's my own breed of tea. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, people, I think um, that's pretty much everything that I've got for you, and I'm going to be ending off now. So, salute to Mondo. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.